So I'm not sure how many of you still haven't seen Don't Look Up, which is on Netflix, but if you haven't, watch it. And I can assure you there's not going to be spoilers in this video segment, but I had to talk about the movie because Kirsten Cinema made a tweet about Don't Look Up, and I don't know if she's seen it, to be honest, but regardless, the entire point of the movie essentially is about politicians like her who don't take existential threats to the planet seriously. So it's a satirical movie, basically, that is a little bit too realistic. Um, you know, it mirrors the way that we're not taking climate change seriously. But in the movie, there are scientists that discover a comet that is going to kill everyone on the planet. And they try to alert people about its existence and how little time they have left. And nobody really takes it seriously. And that's like the whole point of the movie. And so Kirsten Cinema, having just blocked her party's agenda, just a meager response to climate change and build back better, she decided to tweet about the movie and she gave it a shout out. She tweeted, very cool. University of Arizona astronomy professor Amy Mainzer advised actors for the new Don't Look Up film. Now, she's not saying a lot, right? We just got to pause here and, and notice that she's not necessarily making an endorsement of the message of the satire. But again, it's about you, Kirsten Cinema. It's like if you were somebody who wanted to do genocide and you were known for wanting to do genocide and you tweeted about the Avengers and how Thanos wants to do genocide and how genocide is bad is the message, but you tweeted about that. It's it's weird, right? It's like that uh, puppet monkey meme where it's like, you know, they're talking about you, idiot. So regardless if she's seen the film or not, uh, I'm going to assume that she did because it's a good film and everybody's talking about it. Everybody's watching it. I mean, the point went over her head, but regardless, just the response here was amazing because people shredded her because the movie is satirizing politicians like her. Jen Uger tweeted out, don't you understand that you're the bad guy and don't look up? You just helped to kill funding to fight climate change and build back better. You're pro meteor. The clueless and corrupt politicians in the movie are modeled after you. Don't you know that? Senator Cinema, look up. My Michael Eman tweeted, Glad you recognize we face a climate crisis, Senator Cinema. In the film, politicians compromised by special interests fail to support the needed actions. Play the hero, not the villain. Anand Giridharadas tweeted, Did you watch the movie? John Iderola tweeted, Have you watched it? Because there's a lesson there if you weren't being paid so well not to learn it. This person says, You're literally the bad guy in this movie. Another person with a banger says, Breaking. Iceberg tweets, Very cool. Titanic survivors advised actors for James Cameron's film. It just went right over her head. Even if you haven't seen the movie, she's at least had to have seen a trailer. I mean, she sees that this is a popular movie and, you know, people in Arizona helped advise the actors. So she's got to know at least something about it. She's got to know it's a satire about people in America not taking a meteor seriously. She's She's got to know. But she's just dense and she lacks even a minimal amount of self-awareness. Otherwise, she wouldn't have tweeted this. It just doesn't add up. She tweeted this out knowing that people were going to make fun of her because, again, the movie is about people like her. David Sirota, who did the screenplay for the movie along with Adam McKay, was the former speechwriter for Bernie Sanders. He's someone who actually cares about climate change, and he's also a fantastic journalist. So the movie, I mean, if you if you watch the film, the politicians behave in the same way that Kirsten Sinema behaves. It's it's almost too real. Like we call it a satire, but it's so realistic. It really the line between the film and our current reality really is blurred the stupidity was nailed it's just everything is it's a phenomenal movie again you have to watch it probably the best movie of 2021 with the exception of perhaps i don't know the new spider-man film which i haven't watched because twitter has absolutely spoiled the fuck out of that film so i don't even see the point anymore but regardless it's one of the best films it's the best film that i saw in 2021 and it's hilarious that even when we have films blatantly making fun of politicians like kirsten cinema they still are so dense that they tweet out shout outs to this film. It's about you, you fucking moron. Watch the fucking film and reflect on it.